In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create two labels here and we're going to have them nicely rotated. And the rotation is slightly tricky one, but once we understand how do we can create these scale labels, how we can rotate them and position them accordingly, it becomes quite easy. So let's look how we can create and rotate two scale labels in Chart.js. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a boiler template, which you can find out here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once shown here, scroll down and copy this boiler template. Copy all of this. If you want to understand what this code all does, watch this video here that explains it all. I'm going to paste this all in there. I'll cut this out and then I will put this in here. Save this and refresh. So once we have this, what I want to do, of course, is to maximize the size of this. Let's convert it to 80%. So for now, I will make a very simple type of bar chart. If I scroll down here, we have all of this and maybe we can do some negative values here. That would be just fair. Save that. There we are. Next, what I want to do is I want instead of negative 15, I will force this into a negative 20. So I will put in a hard coded minimum value or well, that's the minimum value as the lowest point on the X or sorry on the Y scale. So we say here min value will be minus 20. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here now the scale has converted into a negative 20. So now we have this here and what I want to do now is in the options here, basically I need to create a plugin. So I'm going to create here plugins bracket and then we're going to say here rotated labels as a simple plugin name, copy this slash slash here and we're going to say here plugin block and then say constant this equals id of rotated labels comma and then we can select here when would we like to draw this i will draw this before we draw any other data set so if we say before data sets draw and we get the chart we get the arcs and we get here the plugin options although i won't be using these last two here so now what we're going to do here is we're going to create an object destructuring. If you don't understand object destructuring, I have a video about understanding object destructuring in chart.js. So basically we're going to do an object destructuring of this object here, which is the chart itself. Then I'm going to say CTX because I want to draw on the canvas and we might need the chart area. So let's get that one in there. I'm going to say a top bottom left right width and height and most likely we will use the scales of course the x and y scale if we don't use this one probably you could remove that so you can just check in case we need this so now what i need to do here because rotation in canvas can be tricky if you don't understand the mechanics behind it so let's start to work on that First of all, we're going to say save. This is becomes very important because this is our default mode that will become very important because if we don't play later on to this with our restore or reset to default mode, we will get this weird rotating effect that we don't want. So based on the question, I had like two specific labels that we need to have. Here would be the, um, the consumption, I guess it's related to recession or the uh, consumer uh, trust the consumption, how much are people buying on a monthly basis, and here with the production, how much is being produced. So let's start to look at this. So first of all, what I want to have here is a constant angle. This angle is basically for the rotation necessary. However, in Canvas, they use the math.pi, but if we have the rotation, it works with 2pi, and that's very complicated. So what I want to do is, one math.pi equals 180 degrees of a circle. So we're going to say you divide by 180 degrees. So we get a single degree. And from there on, we can just easily calculate a full circle of 360. So we have this one. Next, what I want to do here is we're going to start to create what we call the area that we want to rotate. And this is what we call the translate, uh, the translate area. So we're going to say here, CTX translate. And basically, in essence, if you would, because it's quite hard to visualize what this truly does, 
But if you just imagine we have this part here and imagine we're going to put a, slight, a tiny piece of paper on top and we're going to specify here basically the rotation of that which is 0, 0.0. That's basically what we're doing here. We're just rotating or we didn't rotate it but we just put something on top of it. Why? We don't want to rotate the chart but we want to rotate this new object on top of it. And that's basically what we're doing here. So you can just see there's a transparent piece of paper that's on top and that will be rotated instead of the chart. Alright, so I hope I'm clear on that one. And if not, don't worry, just follow along, you will understand. So now, what I want to do is, of course, I want to rotate the text. But maybe what is even better, before I even do this, or I can leave this one, because this one is still set on the basic default position of 0.0, .0 which is just this corner here of the canvas. So if you're wondering why there and not this point, because the canvas starts here. That's the point. All right. So what we're going to do here is let's draw the text first and then we can see our rotation work in action quite nicely. So we're going to say here ctx.font. I'm going to give this here a, uh, let's say a bold font, um, 14 pixels or let's say 15 pixels. And I'm going to say a sans serif as the font family, which is the default font family in Chart.js. Next, what I want to do here is the color. So ctx.fill style to give the font a color and the color will be RGBA. And then here again, the official color, 102, 102, 102. That's basically it. And I'm going to say here, number one, I'll just make this a solid gray color. Next, what I want to do is to start to draw the item. So we're going to say ctx fill text and the fill text here eventually uh, put in here the text that we want well there were two texts and we're going to first hard code them after that we're going to just uh, make them in a function so that will be probably better and then what we're going to do here is uh, one was production and another one was the consumption so let's say production first so the production and then the x and y variable we want to position it for now I'll just say here here 10 and 10 and later on as we rotate you'll see it will move so we have this here now and what I want to do is I want to rotate this basically from this all the way up here so that it will be from top this like that uh, that's 270 degrees as our angle which is basically here that's where we have this rotation here later on uh, let's try the rotation right now so what we're going to do here is basically this we're going to say here because let me just be clear where we want to put it eventually i want to put this here or the, i think the, sorry the production was here up consumption was here down so we want to put it here so we have to rotate this and then you have to move it down and that will be a tricky one but don't worry we're going to work on it so we say ctx dot rotate and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to say here the rotation will be 270 degrees multiplied by angle which is of course a formula here. So if we save this, let's look. Well, as you can see here, what is happening, this is this undesired rotation effect. So what I need to do here is of course, enter, enter and do a restore. So I'm going to say a CTX restore to reset the item. All right, so now it's being rotated, but you might say, well, where is it then if it's not, if it's not visible? Well, it is, rotated from here all the way 270 up here basically in the invisible area so I can show you this by just saying here let's say 10 if I save this refresh you can see it starts to move and then I guess if we do 90 let's see where we're getting all right 90 is already going out of the area so let's say 75 save that refresh as you can see here now it's being clipped up so don't worry about that we're going to put it in 270 save this all right so now it's basically here. So as you can see, if you rotate that, it will go like that. So how do we get this? Well, the tricky part is because of this here. So due to the rotation, this here basically is starting to shift. So this here was an X and this was the Y. Now this is not the case anymore. Because of the rotation, this becomes the Y and this becomes the X. That's a very tricky one here. All right, so we had the 10 here and 10 here so if I save that refresh there we are so let's start to do here instead of 10 we do now negative 10 because we are remember we are rotating outside of the area basically we are outside here and everything will be calculated in a positive now needs to become 
basically in a mirror reflection as an x and y becomes y and x but also everything with plus becomes negative so everything's in a mirror reflection so let's do the negative here save refresh and as you can see here now it starts to show up or show up slightly let's go and put in a negative 100 and we're going down here and remember because the rotation here this is becoming basically the uh, top and bottom or the y scale so let's push this into this area here so what we need for that is well basically we need to calculate two things well let's uh, let's look we have this point to here from zero and there so what I can do here is the following I'm going to grab here the value of this which I need to convert into a pixel value so what I'm going to say here let's do console log so you will understand exactly what I'm doing say here um, we need to have the y variable now and say y dot get pixel for value and then the value will be zero so if we save this refresh of course nothing happens yet let's see here we get the value so what we could do here already if I do this put it in here but make it negative you can see here it starts to go in here but of course I don't want it here I want it between 0 and 20 so that would require at least some additional work for us so what we need to do here besides this I need to know as well the 20 so we have these numbers here and basically what I need to do is between these two numbers we can calculate the position so I'm going to say here this I guess what I'm going to do is I just remove the negative for now I'm going to say here and then what I need to do here is I'm going to say this will be plus a y plus because if it's negative it goes down if it's positive it goes up now exactly the opposite everything is now slightly more tricky so I'm going to copy this and say this will be equal to 20 and then if I save this refresh let's see we're getting out of the screen which is fine but then what we have to do here is we probably have to make sure that when we calculate this uh, what we have to do here most likely is to do a plus as well so we do plus this and then give this priority and then divide this by negative 2 let's see if this works all right interesting it's not really correct right by one no we definitely have to be in two so i'll just have to check here what is the formula here exactly so we have this and we have here the lowest value minus the highest value oh of course so let me tell you we're basically correct because we're in 10 and i was just why i'm being confused here because we need to align this into the center so let's do this now uh, we can remove this then we're going to say here ctx that text align equals center and the reason why is because by default it is text align left this is why it's perfectly here so if i do it now here look at that beautiful in the center now what i want to do is i want to move it a bit more here but if you do too much you might see it will be clipped off well we have a solution for that so let's let's do this first let's say here five say refresh as you can see here it's being clipped off this side and here it overlaps so i don't want this let's fix this so we're going to scroll down here in the options we're going to say layout then we're going to say comma then we say your padding and then we're going to say here on the left side we're going to give it a 20 pixel of padding save refresh there we are so now we have this additional space we can probably move this back here so we have here this let's say 20 save refresh that's maybe too much i think we could do here maybe 15. there we are so that looks absolutely phenomenal and that's now working what i want to do of course is another one but i don't want to copy paste this so what i'm going to do now is a function because this here including the formula should be sufficient enough now for us for to make it work so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a function i'm going to say these are the labels or scale labels and then 
we're going to put here this all between cut this out put it in there give this all a proper indentation and then what i want to do is here i want to soft coat these values so we have here this would be basically the lower the lower value or the bottom of the scale which would be basically here and then here all to the top of the scale and of course we have another one of minus 20 to zero so what are we going to say here first of all text comma bottom scale comma uh, top scale and you might wonder why i'm not using bottom and top maybe as terms because we have them here as well and it might be in conflict so we want to avoid that text here maybe this should be something better label text anything anyway so once we have this we're going to say here this and then all i want to do here is to say production let's cut this out and say this will be equal to text because that will be this so that is the text that's a string value production comma this bottom scale is basically a reference to this zero here so it's a zero comma and the other one top scale is 20. copy this put that in here copy this one put it in here save this refresh all right so now this works so you might say all right if i just duplicate this are we done the answer is no luckily but it's just a tiny issue so we have here the consumption consumption and this one would be minus 20 and this one is zero if i save this now refresh you might say well where is it it's not working but if i do this you might notice it appear all right so let me explain what's going on remember we had the rotation here this rotation is still intact but because we have this function here we rotate it again and that creates again an issue so what we need to do here is just this tiny tiny code we're going to just reset it back into rotation of zero just store it back and once we do that we should have now a working item all right interesting not yet so let me double check here oh sorry it is of course not zero no what we need to do is we need to rotate it back so basically the 270 we're going to negative 270 save that refresh and there we are so now we have a consumption here that tracks the consumption at the bottom and we have here the upper area which would show the production and that's basically how you can do these tricky rotations in a canvas so if you enjoy this video with this nice rotated items maybe you want to do even something more advanced in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add custom rotated labels in chart.js where you have these nice labels here at the bottom as a price tag